Here's a very simple game to play. Start with the ruler and stick two matchbox trays to the ruler with either sticky tape or glue or plasticine or anything else. And then place a coin in the end matchbox tray. Now the aim of the game is to get the coin from that tray to that one. How can you do it? Well, I suppose you could try flipping it in the air. Missed. And after a bit of practice, you might actually succeed once or twice. There, I did that time. However, let me tell you this. It is possible to get the coin from the end matchbox tray to the one next to it without tossing the coin in the air whatsoever. How can you do it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here's what you do. You start by putting your finger on the table firmly, push the ruler against the finger, and then lift the other end with the matchbox trays high up into the air. Let the ruler go. <laughs> Look at that. It jumped over the side into the second matchbox tray. You might say, why on earth did it do that? Let's watch it in slow motion. You can see what's happening is the coin is actually lagging behind a little as the matchbox tray and ruler fall. Now, I'm sure you've tried this experiment before, haven't you? Put something on your elbow. Matchbox, apple, anything you like. You can catch it if you flip your hand over quickly because that matchbox, or whatever it is, has inertia. It tends to stay where it is for a fraction of a second while your hand comes over and catches it. Something very similar is happening here. You see, that coin lags behind a little as the tray to fall. And as it does that, of course, it's now not over the first matchbox tray, but the second one. So now as it does fall, it falls into that position there. Try it with your friends. Curiosity.